Alright guys, hopefully you guys can see me. I'm standing in the shade today because I don't have my sunglasses on. This is Scotty Hobbs. I just got done doing a, a bulk shoulders workout from Body Beast. Freaking excited. It's Friday morning, so I want to share a little bit with you guys. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about time management because as I built this Team Beachbody business, you know, I've been doing this a little over two years now, but when I first started, I was working uh, 12, 15 hours a day you know, from five in the morning till five at night. And my wife worked from three in the afternoon till 11 at night, and we had uh, three kids. So people ask, okay, how did you build this business in that time? So I'm gonna touch real quick on time management. And I, I've learned time management through a few people, and you guys want to watch a video, I think it's just called Time Management, on my YouTube channel from about a year ago, where I talk about uh, your priorities versus the things that you do every single day. So I want you guys to look at that if you haven't looked at that yet. Um, if not, I just want to touch on a, a simple thing about planning out your day uh, before you start the day. You don't want to just wake up, like it's Friday morning, you don't just, I don't just wake up and say, okay, what should I do today? And then, and then just start going because that way I let circumstances control my life. I let emails, texts, phone calls control my life. So in other words, I let other people's things control my day. So I have to have a to-do list and you'll hear Shalene Johnson talk about a to-do list as well. And <clears throat> I'll give you a simple example. Jim Rohn, okay? You guys all know who Jim Rohn is. I'm a huge fan of Jim Rohn because he uh, is a farm boy from Idaho, and I'm from Idaho, so I can relate with him a little bit. But, <clears throat> you know, he talks about goal setting and, and setting uh, a schedule, knowing what you're going to do. And he uses the example of building a house. So you'll never see somebody just out there laying bricks. And, and, and he says, what Jim Rohn says is he says, uh, um, you never get started until you're finished. Something like that. I'm not the best at quoting things, but what he's talking about is you'll never go see, I can hear someone building a house right now. Uh, you'll never, if you went out to them and saw them laying bricks or hammering nails, um, they're not just there laying bricks. They're not just out there like throwing boards up. They've already finished the plan. They've finished the day. So to relate that, you know, with a building a house or, or planning out your day, you got to have the plan laid out ahead of you ahead of, uh, before time or you're not going to end up with the, the result that you want. So with your day, you need to, the night before, the day before, have your day planned out. Have a to-do list. Have the things that you need to get done every single day and know exactly what you're going to do. Have the plan laid out. So your day is already finished before you start it. You just got to go through and check it off as that day goes through. So I want to challenge you guys, if you're not, to figure out what you need to do each day the night before. Write it down. Who you need to contact, the things you need to do, and then write it down. And then the next day, you just go to work on that list and check them off. And there's, there's a great accomplishment, a, a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment when you can check something off of a list. And when you do that, you get excited because you're, you're hitting goals and you're, and you're doing things that you know will move you towards your goal, whatever that is. So I'm going to challenge you guys to don't just lay your day to chance but to actually plan it. Set what time you're going to work, whether it's an hour, whether it's 45 minutes, whether it's three hours, or whether it's six hours like me as a full-time coach. Set your day, know exactly what you're going to do, and then go to work checking that off. And I think it's important every single day to take 15 minutes as well, aside from planning, just to um, have that sense of accomplishment. Think about what you've done, what you've accomplished, have uh, a sense of uh, fulfillment in having achieved that, and then go on and write your list for the next day of what you're going to do. So I'm going to challenge you guys uh, that are struggling with time management to do that. Yeah, you're not going to build a house without plans. You're not going to build a business without a daily plan. you got to have steps to take, and it takes you planning it. So there you go, guys. Thank you.